It's time for Ryan's Roses. We're looking for Angie, and I think we've got her. It's time for Ryan's Roses. And Angie, thank you very much for sending us an email. I just want to bring Sissy up to speed on some detail here before we get into it. But she's in Culver City. She says, Dear Ryan and Sissy, I've been watching the way my husband and our married neighbor interact, and it's always very secretive and flirty. The other day, as I was pulling up into the driveway, my husband was talking to her while watering our front yard. As soon as she saw my car, she scurried back into the house. This happens a lot, and there seems to be something between them besides just being neighborly to each other. So that is that is an uncomfortable feeling that is way too close to home. Of course. Angie, are you there? I am. Hi, how are you? Hi, we're okay. Have you... I'm just curious, have you considered going to the neighbor's wife's husband and saying you think something's going on with his wife and your husband? You know, I've, I've talked to him, and, um, I mean, David's a really nice guy, but I'm not really close to them. And, you know, we've got a toddler, and their kids are in high school, so it's not even like our kids hang out where there will be a connection there. I mean, I've, I've talked to David a few times, but not not before all this. It was all before all this weirdness started happening. How could they be pulling this off? I don't know. My husband's a smart man. Um, but there's just something. I mean, there's no smoke without fire, right? And mm-hmm. so there's there's just every time. Every time she sees me, she scurries like a scalded dog. I mean, she just takes off. How, and, long, uh, how long have you been married? We've been married about seven years. How close are you to these neighbors? Not, not at all. I mean, I've maybe said hello to Nicole before she started acting completely weird. Her name is three Nicole. Or four times. Yeah. I, I, can you hang on? We're going to come back. Can you hang on? Sure. She sounds very upbeat for her husband potentially cheating on her, doesn't she? I wonder if she's setting him up. I, I, there's something. I don't know. I, huh. Maybe I'm being making. Played? I don't know. Maybe I'm making this up, but what do you think? Yeah, I'm with she you. Sounds, something's, off. something's off. She sounds way too enthusiastic about catching him than normal to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've talked to hundreds of people for Ryan's Roses. So what do you want to do? Patty is a theory. Maybe she's not really the wife. I mean, we've had incidents yeah, like that. where they come in and they fake they And they lie to us. So who could she be? Nicole. So she... I've already lost other names. It was, wait, was Nicole's Nicole the would be the neighbor's wife. Why would the neighbor's wife call us to pretend to be... Because maybe the husband, <sighs> Angie's husband, told Nicole, like, I'm going to leave Angie and be with you. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. For, I need to understand this. So maybe Angie's husband told Nicole... He was going to leave Angie to be with Nicole? Maybe. And so then the neighbor wants to know for sure if he's in. Oh, no. I mean, I don't know. Could we just do it maybe and see? Yeah. You don't want to do it. I can see it in your face. I do want to do it, but I'm telling you something's not right. I know. Let's come back and try this in a second. So we have Angie, who we were told is married to uh, her husband of seven years. She thinks her husband is having an affair with the neighbor, Nicole, who's married, and they live across the street. I have a feeling something is we don't know. I don't, like, it's possible that it's actually, it is Nicole that's saying she's Angie. Why don't we ask her right now? Hey, why are you so peppy? Hey, Angie, are you really Angie married to your husband uh, living across the street from Nicole? Yes. We feel like you sound what? you sound way too enthusiastic about catching your husband cheating, so we think you might actually be Nicole. Are you Nicole? No. Okay. No, I just want to know the truth because I know he's lying to me. After and if you years, found out the truth, what would you do? Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on what the truth is. If the truth is, is that he's not cheating on me, then I'm going to apologize and I'll just mess but i know he is and if the truth is that he is cheating on me then i may have to make a decision to end this marriage and i'm definitely going to have to make a decision to go kick that girl's butt oh. so 
And do you think there's a possibility that he is with Nicole and promised he'd leave you for Nicole? You know what? At this point, normally I would say no, but he's been acting so weird. I, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, if he wanted to break a promise to me and and lie and be a complete dog, that wouldn't surprise me. No, it wouldn't. Okay. We are going to call this man that you say is your husband. We are going to offer him some roses, and we will find out if he sends them to you or to your neighbor who's married, Nicole, or anybody else. I need you to say, Ryan, you've my permission to call, and then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call my husband on KISS FM. Is this me? Okay. I have my balance. I mean, when did you turn into Paranoid Presley? I know. What? I don't know. What is that? What, who's Paranoid Presley? You. <laughs> I'm <laughs> thinking we're getting played. I, just, I have walked down this path before, but let's go ahead and make the call. Sissini, go ahead. You know what you're doing. I'm ready. I'm looking for Eric. Yeah, this is Eric. Hi, Eric. My name is Greta. I'm calling from City Flowers. We're kind of new here in Culver City, kind of on the corner of Sepulveda and Washington. How are you doing this morning? Good, yeah. I'm calling because we're promoting our delivery service. So basically, we're giving away a free dozen red roses. You can send them to anybody that you would like today, and they'll receive them by lunchtime or in the evening, whatever is better for you. Um, they're absolutely free. I don't need credit card info, anything like that. You're giving away a dozen roses? Yes, dozen red roses. I can change the color if you'd like, but we usually do red. You're, did I can send to somebody? or? Yes. So you would just give me the name of the person you want to send them to, and then we can even put a little note on there, and then they'll receive them as early as lunchtime today or any other day. Tomorrow works better. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been anywhere. Perfect. I, I, honestly, thanks. I appreciate that, but uh, no thanks. I, uh, oh, are you at this sure? Point I've got, yeah, I, I, I've got nobody to send them to. Man. Uh, yeah. Thank you anyway, though. I appreciate Eric, it. Eric, I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. This is Ryan Seacrest. That, that is Sissini. Are you married? Who's this? My name is Ryan. Are you married? Yeah. Who are you married to? Who? A what? Angie? What's your... Angie. Angie, can you speak? Is this your husband? Oh, I can speak, and that's him. And I want to know why he says he doesn't have anybody special to send any roses to. Is that your wife? Yeah. What, Angie? Well, so they offer you roses, and you're not going to send them to your wife? That just tells me everything I need to know. Are you serious? You, you, don't, you don't know why I'm not sending you roses? No, I don't. I know, and I'm actually kind of surprised you're not sending them to Nicole, since you seem to want to spend all your time with her anyway. Uh, hey, back it up. Back it up. You Eric. and I both know the reason I'm not sending you flowers. You're the reason I'm not no. sending flowers. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. What yeah. does that mean, yeah. she's the reason? You're what married you to her. What, what's the reason? She knows. She knows the reason. And why is she even using you guys, a radio station, they have this all come out like this. Well, what's Angie, the reason? Yeah, I know no. the reason because you're cheating on me with Nicole. I know you are. That's the reason. Hey, back it up. Like back it up. If you want to. But, yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah. That's yeah. Where, where do so, you get this information, uh, where, Eric? Eric, let me just cut to the chase because we're going in circles and I smell a rat. Angie has told us that that there's some flirting going on, strange behavior. She believes that you're cheating on her with your neighbor across the street named Nicole. Is it true? Okay, wait a minute. First of all, first of That's all. That's a yes or no question. This, this little radio stunt of yours, you know, Angie, isn't going to help anything at all, first of all. And you and I both know, and the fact of the matter is, have I spoken? Yeah, have I spoken uh, to Nicole? Have we had some text? Yeah. The only reason we've been our, talking our is, excuse me, the only reason we have been talking is because of what you have been doing with David. What's going on with David? What's going? Who is David? David's the neighbor. David's uh, Nicole's husband. That's the husband. That's the husband. Yeah, 
Yeah, David's the dude that you have been having an affair with. You have been seeing this guy. So you did this. So, Eric, you're really? saying your wife's been having an affair with the neighbor across the street, and that's why you've been talking to his wife, because you've been suspect? Okay, first of all, everything was innocent. We started everything, you know what? We got together to talk about what we were going to do about Angie having an affair with David. Did so you then why... cheat on her with David's wife? It, it, okay, I didn't start out that way. It, no, it, but you did as well. Uh... So, so I just want to make sure yes we understand. No, question. An, no, Angie, hold on. We'll ask the questions. Yeah. Did you cheat on Eric with David, who lives across the street? Yes or no? Yes, because he wouldn't even send me roses. What well, why that? are you sending us in this circus of oh, Angie? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Hello. So you? Okay, but you're not innocent either. Yeah, but oh, this is this is hen house. But this I'm is not honest. He's still not being honest. How He's are you honest? Lying. You just lied to us. I just told you that I'm sleeping with him. But you just made us go through this whole charade when you know you've already violated your relationship, and so he retaliated by not doing what's right. But that's what he did. He retaliated by cheating on you. Were you the first to yeah. cheat, Angie? Well, since he's still not admitting anything, I guess you could I, say that. Yeah, I, I have. I have. <sighs> what is there to admit? That's our right. closing statement, and we're going to let the both of you work it out on your own. It doesn't sound like either of you want to be married to each other. Yeah. We have four people actually on the same block mm -hmm. that aren't really interested in being married. Certainly, to the people that they are with.